information that Brian sent to me, I'm going, you know, you're a real pioneer in education as well as in nursing. And that says a lot. You can be a pioneer about one thing and it's great, but you're a pioneer about two, two areas. And that's something to be very, very proud of. And uh, we did a proclamation. This was a no-brainer. Brian says, Pat, here's some information about my mom. What, what can you do for her? I go, well, yeah, this, is, this should be a proclamation. <laughs> so thank him, but I did not know that you were retiring. So, did Barrett go give you one already? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Ours looks nicer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll tell you no, what. Yeah, Ron's a great guy, you know. But I saw you, I saw you broke ground on the old site yesterday. What? Oh, you broke ground on the old site. Okay. I'm going to read this. Even though his might be like mine, I'm going to read this because I think okay. it needs to be said twice. Okay. And then heard by everybody again because this is great stuff. Okay. Also, the Mayor and City Council Proclamation, whereas the Mayor, City Council, and City Administration, the city of Hamilton, Ohio, are extremely honored to recognize Nancy L. Whitehill, whose dedication to learning, caring for those in need, and touching the lives of countless individuals inspire our city to believe in the spirit of education and resonating belief that we exist to help each other. Whereas Nancy L. Whitehill began her journey to Hamilton from Oceanside, California. Is that right? Yay. Yes. When her husband became, <laughs> uh, the, found the prospect of work at Hamilton's Beckett Paper Mill. After traveling to our community, she became highly engaged in her course of study in nursing and enrolled at Miami University Hamilton. Whereas Mrs. Whitehill flourished at Miami and was admitted to Hamilton's inaugural class for their two-year nursing program, getting a full scholarship and accepting this measure, and out of love for her new home, Nancy agreed to work at Mercy Hospital for one year. Which made her, yeah, one year. Okay. One year. I can do three. Then you're gonna be a free agent or something like that. He was trying to get back to the ocean yes, side. Yes. <laughs> Where she would later work as an RN until the doors to the hospital were closed. Exactly. So that was a long year. That was a long year. <laughs> and her two-year career at Mercy Hospital in Fairfield, Nancy held several positions, including head nurse and clinical educator, to name a few. Not only did she work to save the lives of thousands of individuals, but sought to educate those around her to create a hospital of learning as well as curing. And for a period of over 42 years, mm -hmm. Totaling 2,175 weeks, Nancy has made a difference each day in the life of at least one person. And By demonstrating her unique kindness and her sense of compassion for those around her, she has helped to touch and save the lives. We put down 15,225 people, but it's probably heck of a lot more now. Oh, that would be in both day. Hamilton yeah. and across the world. Yeah. And now, therefore, I, Pat Moore, Mayor of the City of Hamilton, Ohio, members of the Hamilton City Council, here by the 20th day of April 2012, at Nancy L. Whitehill Day in the City of Hamilton. Congratulations, Nancy, for making a difference in the pursuit of education. The thousands of lives have crossed your path and for your civic contributions, which inspired our community. Oh, so I proudly you. give this to you. Yay. You are very welcome. What a pleasant, pleasant person. I'll tell you what.